Hello, Kansas City Fringe Fest. That is right. I and a bunch of lovely people from Springboard Improvisation, which is a fantastic organization about helping um, people who are women or non-binary get into the improv space, are producing some playback theater for the Kansas City Fringe Festival this July. You're probably asking yourself, what is playback theater? And that's a great question. Playback theater is a form of improvisational theater and also a form of storytelling. When you see a playback theater show, you're going to see someone get up with a troop of actors and start warming up the audience, asking them questions about short stories from their day, from their morning, from their week. And then from then on, you may get into a theme or you may see what direction the stories are going and you might start to put together stories around a certain theme, but you're going to start to get into bigger, deeper topics, longer stories from the audience. The troupe is specifically trained and uh, up there to listen so carefully, respectfully, and reflectively to your story because then the conductor and the troupe will play back your story for you. And there's a variety of different ways that they can choose to play back your story. They might do it as scenes from your story in a chronological order. Or they might do it as a bunch of different sounds, noises, and abstract concepts from your particular story. You might see one person get up and do a monologue about the entire story, or you might see several people get up and give different offers from your story from different parts. Like I said, there's a lot of different really cool forms and some focus on specifics like exactly what happened and the actions, but some focus on the emotion and how you might have felt during your story. So when you go to a playback show, not only is there a chance that you'll get to do a story that you will then see played back for you, which will be a pretty cool and cathartic experience, but you also might connect with other people around you who either have had the same story or something very similar. Jonathan Fox and Joe Silas, who developed Playback Theater, talked about the red thread of stories that connect us all, that we have similar experiences, and that if we could just get together in one room and talk, we might actually find some common ground. I always describe Playback Theater as when you're sitting around a campfire with your family and friends and you start to tell stories, and this one reminds you of this one reminds you of this one reminds you of this one. Before you know it, the whole night has been gone with just storytelling. Playback Theater, Kansas City Fringe in July. More details coming soon. I am so excited. And Improv Springboard will be performing all of this at Wim Space.